Hello everyone, this is Vortex259. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. In our previous episode, we visited the village of Tadanki, whose inhabitants only come out at night. During the day, you'll only find corpses and coffins inside the town. But at night, it's quite a swinging little village. We got a new item called the Dark Lamp, which will allow us to turn day into night. Also purchased some new weapons and armor, and visited with a villager who told us about a new village called Lantel, which is south of Baharata. So you can see I've cast a return spell. I'm near Baharata. We're going to go visit Lancel today and see if the rumors are true that the final key may be found somewhere near there. So uh, let's take a look at the map here. Uh, we're going to go visit the island directly to the south. That's where Lancel is. So let's get on our boat and go see if we can find us a final key. So we'll just start sailing to the south. Now well, we got a couple of new enemies we can fight here. First is the Merman. You know, the Merman looks kind of like the first boss you fight in Dragon Quest VIII. It's kind of interesting how they recycled some of the old monsters. And I believe the King Squid, which you can fight here in the sea, is also another boss type monster in Dragon Quest VIII. The other new enemy, I don't think we've demonstrated it yet, have we? The Sea Slime? Well, they have fairly high defense, just like the Snailies, but otherwise not too terribly bad. Let's go ahead and cast a snowstorm spell I guess on the mermen. Well, Hero took down the first one. Our Sage Matt uses snowstorm, takes down the second and third merman, and the Sea Slime is taken out rather easily. 229 experience points, 179 gold, and I get the Sea Slime Medal. Very good. And speaking of monster medals, I've gotten quite a few since the last time I've shown you my medal book. You can see I have a total of 53 bronze monster medals now. I got the Shaman, which is number 80, the Mad Condor, number 70, there's the Merman, number 66, Jellyfish, Sea Slime, Hell Armor, Witch, Snaily. So yeah, I've gotten quite a few new ones. There's the Gotagon. So yeah, quite a few monster medals. Still a lot to go though. Over a hundred, I believe. Well, let me check my progress here. We're getting pretty close. Yep, this is the island I want to visit. So I guess we'll just go ahead and disembark here. And I believe that is the village of Lantel waiting for us right to the south there. So let's go inside. Yep, this is Lantel. It's a small village. Look pretty small from the outside. Well, the village may be small, but the temple is big. That's why we get a lot of visitors. Hmm. Okay, well I guess there's a big temple somewhere here in town. Let's talk to this warrior. I'm traveling in search of the final key. Well, so are we. Betcha we get it before you do. I've heard that a vase is necessary to find the key. But what could that mean? Is the key inside a vase? Hmm, that's interesting. Apparently we need to find a vase in order to get the final key. Okay, you can get out of my way now. Thank you very much. And let's go to the weapon and armor shop. There are a couple of new things I want to get here. The first weapon I want to get is for Glenn, the hammer, which will increase his attack power by 8 points up to 190. So we'll purchase one of those for him. Go ahead and equip it on him. And I also want to get him an Iron Mask, which will take his defense from 96 to 105. So yeah, you can get some good weapons and armor for your warrior here in this village. Well, that's all I want to get here. But next up, I do want to visit the item shop. There's an interesting new item we can purchase here. In addition to the repellent and the warp wing, you can get a new item called the Hide Herb for 300 gold apiece. I want to go ahead and purchase three of those. And I'm going to go ahead and give that to Hero for now. 
Nope, that's all I want to get here. So, what does the hide herb do? Well, if we talk to this lady, who is the item dealer's daughter, she asks us to buy some hide herbs. It's a magic herb that makes you invisible. Oh, wow. Wouldn't that be fun to have in real life? You could play a lot of pranks on people by using an, a hide herb on yourself. Make yourself invisible. Well, let's give one a try here. Let's just go ahead and use one. And look at that. We become invisible. <laughs> oh, come on now. You just told us about the hide herbs, and you probably saw us use that. Don't tell us you don't know what we are. Yeah, we become invisible. Let's go mess with this guy's head. It's about this time that the man thinks I am a draft. But not for long. Because I soon stick two fingers up his nose. Yeah, nothing like a Mr. Bean video to brighten your day. So yeah, you can make yourself invisible. It doesn't last very long. But that item could come in very useful very soon, as you'll see. Okay, well, let's go inside this house. Oh, look, there's a couple of vases. Is there going to be a final key in one of these vases? Nope, not in this vase, but uh, we will get five gold coins out of there. Cat guarding the house, I guess. Needs to be a better guard because we're just robbing them blind here. Inside this dresser, we are going to get a token. Well, let's see what kind of randomness Hero has today when he looks in the mirror. A tired face looks back. <laughs> Alright, well let's follow Glenn's advice and go. Well, we heard about a temple here in this town. To get to that temple, we want to go up and around the eastern corner, or the eastern side of town, I should say. Yeah, that looks like a temple right up here. Talking to this guy. I've heard that you can go to a cave named Navel of Earth from this temple. The name Navel of Earth came about because it's just about the center of the world if seen on a map. Well, uh, is the Navel of Earth where we can find the final key? Apparently not, because the way is locked by the final key, so uh, I guess we're not going to have any luck finding the final key in the Navel of Earth, but I'm pretty sure we'll be coming back there later. Well, look at that. There's a slime up here. The slime asks us if we have a hide herb, which we do. Then you should go to the Castle of Edinburgh. Hmm, another fetch quest. You're going to send me to Lancel to get my hopes up that I'm going to find a final key here. And now you're going to send me to a castle called Edinburgh. Gee, thanks. Alright, well that's the next place we want to go. Castle of Edinburgh. And Edinburgh is actually located on this little island right about here. So that's where we want to go next. Probably the easiest way to get there is to cast a return spell and go back to no annuals. So we'll just have Hero return to no annuals. And we'll find our ship waiting for us off to the east. So let's just go up and around. Let's see where we're at. Yep, we're fairly close. More mermen in that battle. Sailing away. Maybe Hero has a fishing rod. Does a little fishing until monsters appear. I believe this is our destination. Yep, there's the castle. This should be Edinburgh. So let's go in and introduce ourselves to everybody. Hey. 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 What gives? Halt, this is Edinburgh, a castle of high pedigree. Bumpkins, go home. Wow, what a stuck-up snob. He won't let us in. No matter how hard we try. Well, I'll teach him a lesson he won't soon forget. Let's use one of those hide herbs. Now we're invisible and we can sneak past him. <laughs> What? I must be hearing things. Oh, yawn. Alright, well it looks like we have made it into Edinburgh Castle. We have snuck in, I should say, by using one of those hide herbs. But apparently the people of this castle aren't as friendly as others we've seen. 
But maybe we will find uh, more information about that final key. So the next time we meet, we will continue to explore Edinburgh Castle. So thank you for watching today's episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Vortex259. We'll see you again next time.